Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to debug Python code in VS Code. We should have VS Code installed already. We should have Python installed already. That means when we type Python in a terminal or command line, something shows up. We get the Python prompt. If not, go back and install Python. We should also know that Python go code goes in a .py file. So I have a file here with some very simple code. We want to debug this code. So to do that in VS Code, we're going to go to the left side menu and click on this icon for debugging. It has this nice little icon of a bug. Let's click on that. We're going to customize run and debug by creating a launch.json file. Don't worry if none of that makes sense. Let's just get this done. We're going to see a drop down, and it's going to show some words that you may or may not be familiar with. But one word it does not say is Python. Well, that's because Python's not built in by default. We need to install the Python extension. So let's do that. Over on the left-hand menu again, there is the extension button. We're going to click on that. In the text box, we're going to type Python, and hit enter. Lots of results will show up, but we want the first one. If we click on it, we see this is the one from Microsoft. So it is official, lots of downloads, lots of stars. This, uh, it says linting, debugging. That's exactly what we want. So let's install it. Should install fairly quickly. We shouldn't have to restart VS Code. We can just go back to the debug menu, hit create launch JSON, and now we see the Python choice. So let's choose Python. We're going to debug a Python file. That is the simplest way to debug. Let's click on that. We now have a new file created, a launch.json. You would want to research this as much as you have time for, but let's just take it for granted that we're good to go now. I'm going to close all the windows that are currently open, and I'm going to open up, go back to the File Explorer. I'm going to open up our Python file, and we need to see if debugging is working properly. So what I need to do is set a breakpoint. That is hovering your mouse in the left-hand margin where you will see a faded red dot show up. And if you click it, it will turn bright red and it will stay there. That's called a breakpoint. We'll talk about that in another video. We just want to test that debugging is actually working. So once you put the red dot there, let's go back to the debug menu. And now there is a play button. So let's hit the play button. Once we do that, in our file, if everything's working, we'll see a highlighted yellow highlighted line right where we put our breakpoint. This is good. This means it's working. In another video, we will learn how to actually debug, but we have at least gotten the debugger to work, and that's good enough for now. See you in the next video.